out here. And the syndicated radio hogs talk show, Michael Smirkanich, who's an MSNBC political analyst. You know, Jim, before you were born, we lived up the street here, you know. Right, right up, up there, on right North Broad here. Close. Let me ask you, uh, Michael Smirkanich, what do you think about a candidate like uh, this guy out in Illinois, this guy, um, Mark uh, Kirk? They're running my ad. They're putting me in one of their ads, even though I'm just quoting from the Chicago Tribune. The sh I say, according to the Chicago Tribune, they cut that part out, then they use my face and my voice to say that I'm trashing their candidate. You think that's fair? Our lawyers hate this. You've been good for your credits. I mean, how many movies have you been in oh, now? No, you can add this to all your... Don't dodge this. You think it's all right for a candidate to use a broadcast like yourself in an ad, even What's... though you didn't take a position on the candidacy? If they do it accurately and truthfully, I think it's fine. That's what's not the... the case here. Okay, then it's improper. But what's the difference if they take something out of your program like they use editorials at this time of year? Fine. What I don't like is when they take something out that you didn't say, like I said, according to the Chicago Tribune, they took that out. Yeah. Welcome take, to politics. Take your fight to the Chicago Tribune, buddy. That's my Chris, thought. What do you think of this, Don't Jim? read the blogs, Chris. If you're uh, the I don't read the blogs. No, this, the, this the blogs. Ads. Now, my brother Jim here represents a big part of the state, out in the western part, of the eastern part of the state, the more well-off part of it. Would you say the more well-off, tax-sensitive part of this area? Uh, what are the issues that uh, affect the voter uh, in, your, uh, in your county? Well, the big issue, of course, is the national race, and that is the national circumstance right now, the fear. Fear. Know, the, oh, the anger and confusion has been put by the White House. There's well, a lot of fear? anger. What is There's the fear that voters confusion. have, Republican voters uh, like yourself? A lot of it is, I, I think I was looking at the students out here right now, a lot of them going to work next year, and they will because they went to Temple. When they get jobs and they get out there and they open that paycheck every two weeks, they have to understand that every two weeks when they're getting their pay, the Chinese are getting a billion dollars in interest on just their share of what we're borrowing from them right now. Right. We're heading to $13 billion, Chris. There's got to be a stop. Yeah, the only problem is that the, the, uh, this administration Administration came into office facing that hell. Angst. In a word, I think it's. I think it's angst. I hear it from callers every Voters single are worried. day. Voters are worried. They're, they're concerned, Chris, because I think up until now there's there's been this belief that you're going to do better than your folks were able to do, and your children will then surpass whatever you were able to attain. And for the first time, I think many people are now concerned about their children's ability to keep doing that. Well, I'm worried about you know when we grew up, even younger than you, way early back in the 50s, this whole area had manufacturing jobs up in North Philadelphia. There factories all. County Mac Stadium, of course, here too. But you had all these factories along the river, along the, the along the uh, 95 now. All those places, those factories were actually active factories building things. People could go to work up here, get a real factory job, make a good living. One person working for the house, the whole family did well. Is there any way to bring that back, Michael Smirkanish? No, I don't think I don't think that's where our future lies. I mean, I, I, I look at my kids' toys; they're all made in, in China, and well, it's what been are we that way it? It's got to be a service or high tech economy, and I don't know that the government's job is to create those it, it, to create those positions, but rather to create an environment where those businesses can succeed. All I know is that Eisenhower built the international rail, the intercontinental rail system right in the middle of the 50s, and Lincoln, in the middle of the Civil War, built the railroads. Why don't we build anything anymore? That's my question. We don't build highways. We don't build subways. We don't build trains. Why, why don't we build anything anymore? Build stuff. Why don't we build stuff? Hey, I'm all for building the Nobody infrastructure. Nobody builds anything and anymore. I, I think that's what this administration is now trying to do with some of the stimulus money. We get on the Amtrak. Money. Europe goes 300 miles an hour. China goes 300 miles an hour. We get on that rickety Amtrak, and it's like a buckboard. You know? Chris, it's the insatiable answer of taxes, taxes, taxes it's for human tax services. Hey, look, you're talking about the early days. How about back in 1910, I noticed, the biggest manufacturers in the world were the United States, England, Germany, and then Pennsylvania. And Eddie will back me up on okay. that, too, when he well, comes I up think there. that's the issue of jobs. Let me ask you about the Phillies. They're down 3-1. Holiday's pitching tonight. The greatest pitcher in baseball. The greatest the score. Howdy's going to give up two runs, but we're going to get Philly's six. Philly's got to get six. Howdy's going to give six, up two, two. six. Philly's bats are about to explode. 7-1 victory. Okay, great. I like the sound of that. This thing I've said so far, right? Thank you. But the nonpartisan Michael Smirkan is the Republican brother of mine. Thank you both. Jim Matthews, County Commissioner Montgomery County, a great public servant.